Good evening, and thank you for joining us on this Monday, the 5th of July. The teachers' union has a new president who brings a different approach in leadership. Sarah Madison spoke to the former McKinley High School math teacher on his first day as the teacher union's new president. For Osa Tui, being involved with the Hawaii State Teachers Association is nothing new. He's been the negotiations chairperson for the union, president of the Honolulu chapter, and vice president for the past three years under his predecessor, Corey Rosenlee. Rosen Lee has served the maximum six years as union president and now hands over the reins. You can expect leadership styles to be different. I'll just say that I'm more of a listener than a talker, so we'll see how that is going forward. But regardless, you know, HSA, we want to do everything we can to improve the experience for our, our kiki in the classroom and for our educators in their workplace. One problem this former math teacher wants to help solve is the state's severe teacher shortage crisis. What we really need to do is focus on recruiting teachers locally. We have to go into the schools and, and let <laughs> students know that this is a noble profession. Uh, we have to make sure that the salaries are something that's going to attract and retain educators. When it comes to hiring a new superintendent, Tui also says getting someone local would probably be the best right now. I think at this point, everyone is saying that we need someone who knows our school system and, and what our, the needs are for our school system. So that's probably what we would want for our next superintendent going forward. This year, students will be physically returning to school. Tui tells us that's problematic because children under 12 don't have access to vaccinations, and some parents may be worried about sending them back. So one of the problems this past year is that teachers had to juggle teaching students both online and in person simultaneously. If we can have dedicated teachers to do online for students under 12 until they have access to vaccinations, and then those teachers who are in the classroom can then dedicate themselves to working with the students in the classrooms. I think that would be ideal. When asked about the new union president, the superintendent says the DOE looks forward to working with President Tui in a collaborative manner. His partnership and leadership will be vital as the schools prepare to return to full in-person learning. Sarah Madison, KHON2 News, working.